Ian, uh, your latest book, The Power of Crisis, is out in paperback with a new epilogue um, about Russia. What do you have to update us on about that? Well, the book came out. um, I had to finish it. I had to put the manuscript to bed three days, if I remember correctly, after uh, the invasion started. And so um, I wrote like a few pages at the end. But Russia wasn't really in it. And um, of course, you know, the interesting the, the, the conceit of the book is that you need a crisis big enough to get you off your ass, but not so big that it you know sort of destroys everything and that that actually drives a lot of geopolitical progress. And it turns out that the Russian invasion is a really great example of everything I talked about in my book. From 2014, when the Russians invaded Ukraine, that was a crisis too small for anyone to bother to deal with. Mm -hmm. But when when Putin actually came in on February 24th, well, that got NATO stronger. That got the G7 stronger. That got the Democrats and Republicans united on a big issue. uh, And it also allowed the Ukrainians to defend themselves. You're now seeing NATO expand um, and you're seeing Ukraine join the EU. Uh, And you're seeing an incredible level of military support coordination and diplomatic coordination from the United States and and most of its advanced industrial allies because the crisis was big enough. And and the book's all about that. So it was nice to be able to use that and kind of go through what we've seen in the last year. Great. One other question, if you don't mind, which is um, Erdogan, Turkey, and we're going into round two now, uh, May 28th. how consequential is that for the U.S. or uh, others? Well, given that the election is not going to change the leadership, it's not very consequential. Um, I mean, Kilic Daroglu, um, you know, ran a pretty good campaign. He was able to consolidate most of the opposition. Usually the opposition is very fragmented. He did as well as as could be expected in a fair election, but excuse me, in a free election, but not a fair election in the sense that the opposition gets virtually no coverage in the media, uh, and that's by design. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, the judiciary prevented some from running. Uh, I mean, you know, Erdogan does has a lot of capacity to ensure that he can win. Uh, And he got 49.5 percent in the first round and secured a majority in parliament for his coalition. Um, And all he needs and and so he almost won in the first round. This is a layup. Uh, he's he's going to win easily in the second round in two weeks. Uh, and uh, and we go back to uh, business as usual with the Turks. Well, more to come. And uh, again, Power of Crisis out today in paperback. And thanks for joining us, Ian. Good to see you. Talk to you soon. Good to see you, too.